This is something I wrote six months ago after I heard this young man at the Antelope Island gathering. At a time when family ranches are fading to the past, and the kids move to the city and are taught them to not look back, with their faces stuck in cell phone screens and hubcaps in their ears, and vegans telling them what to eat, and teachers filled with fear of a child learning how to shoot or taught to throw a calf, it's such a breath of fresh air just to hear a kid like Thatch. This young man's years don't count to much, but his eyes are 55. He handles pen and paper as well as he can twirl twine. He knows the value of the land and how to keep it green. And the freedom of the cowboy life is more. It's just what the world needs. He's ever been as much as home on stage as on the range. For when he starts reciting, you plumb forget his age. He raises up that microphone and speaks straight to your heart. His words come through with images that never will depart of clean and honest living and a closeness to the land or what the world needs right now and it's slipping from our hands. I can't help thinking that the Lord could see the cowboy's plight and send an angel down this way to lead us to his light. With that, the West has found new hope, a nugget in a stream. Let the future of the family ranch be more than just a dream.